Why on earth is it so hard to change one color? Haven't you heard of a new color pointer tool in Lightroom? Uh, of course I have. Well, let me show you. The pointer tool is an amazing addition that allows us to target and manipulate specific colors within our image. In comparison to our beloved color mixer tool, we now have the opportunity to change one specific color range without changing another hue or saturation. But before we dive into the tool itself, let's talk about the fundamentals of color theory to understand why this tool is so important for us photographers. The color wheel is a photographer's best friend. It's divided into primary colors, red, blue and yellow, and their combinations such as secondary colors, purple, green and orange. Understanding this wheel helps us comprehend how colors interact and complement each other in our photos. One essential concept is contemplatory colors, those positioned opposite each other on the color wheel. For instance, blue and orange, red and green, yellow and purple. Now how does the color pointer tool actually work? Let me show you some examples before we dive into some photos. When you select the color pointer tool, you will notice that your cursor turns into an eyedropper tool. You can click on any color within the image and Lightroom will identify that specific color range in the color wheel located in the HSL color panel. Once you've clicked on a color, Lightroom displays a range of segments on the color wheel that represents the selected color and its variations. This visual representation helps you understand which colors are affected by your adjustments. After selecting a color range, you can use the sliders in the HSL color panel to make various adjustments like hue, saturation and luminance. Here's a quick breakdown. Hue alters the actual color tone, for instance, shifting reds towards orange or pink. Saturation controls the intensity or vividness of a color. Increasing the saturation makes the color more vibrant, while decreasing it desaturates the color. Luminance adjusts the brightness or darkness of a color. Increasing luminance makes the color brighter, while decreasing it darkens the color. By adjusting these sliders on the bottom, we can work on our color range and make it more precise to only change one specific color. This is the biggest difference to our color mixer tool. To get a better overview of what colors we have just selected, we can click on this little checkbox called Visualize Range. This enables a better view in which we can only see our selected colors and every other color is changing into grayscale. Now we can make a better selection by changing hue, saturation and luminance. The color pointer tool's beauty lies in its selective editing capability. By targeting specific colors, you can make enhancements without affecting the rest of your image. For example, boosting the greens in some area without oversaturating the entire picture. Now let's use this tool on a photo and understand why it is so important uh, in addition to our color theory. So let's go. I've just selected this photo I uh, took of my lovely fiance and I already edited the colors. So we have had a nice autumn, wintry vibe going on there. I actually want to change color of her jacket and her hat to be a little bit more like greenish, bluish and a little bit more vibrant as well. So what I'm going to do is to actually use a mask because with this we are going to be even more precise and I don't want to affect all the background like the skies or the um, fields with our greens and blues in it. So what I'm going to do is select the subject and Lightroom does this very easily by clicking on subject and now I have a mask of all my foreground subjects. I can work with this and the great thing is where we have the color pointer tool um, in our masks so it's a great combination to work with. Now I can just simply select the color. I'm going to yeah, select one of the brightest more saturated parts so it's easier for Lightroom to um, work with it, with it and now I can click on visualize range and we see that it made a really good selection. Here on this part we have a little bit more grayscale so 
um, we are going to try and change this by moving the saturation range slider more into the desaturated parts. So we are going to have a little bit more of the color selected. Same goes with the luminance range. Now we can see we have a good selection. What we can do now is change the jacket and make it even more vibrant and more put it more into the greenish blue color scheme. So we have a great complementary color scheme going on here with the orange uh, in the background and the blue tones in the foreground. If we look at the before and after. We can see that um, yeah, we have a really nice color scheme of the orange and the teal colors. And overall, it just looks more like a nice winter autumn day we had um, there. And yeah, this is as simply as that. I hope I could help you understand the color pointer tool a little bit better, as well as the importance of using the color theory in order to get the best out of our images. Have fun experimenting with this tool and I'm going to see you in the next video.